This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome right back here with another episode of Front Mission 3. In the last episode, Ryogo chose to uh, to lead his own unit as well as, as we split off to help fight off the JDF who tried to take us out. Uh, Ryogo did a pretty decent job, mainly because he had no mechs to fight. It was just tanks, and uh, although in real life tanks would be horrible to fight against, but uh, we have big giant metal men and mechs, so we're, we're fine there. Uh, but he's done his job. That's surprisingly well, and now it's our turn to see if we can take on the brunt. Yeah, we got the more dangerous mission because we're Kazuki. Of course it makes sense. So let's see what happens today as we fight off the JDF. The front's unit engaged in combat! You're- wait, you're alive? We killed you! We killed you! Nuts. Alright, this guy's like a- like a cockroach. You just have to like- Every time you squash him, he comes back. Good, all you spread out and flank the enemy. Do we have confirmation on those mercenaries? No, we have no visual confirmation. Why? Why aren't they attacking? Are they not after the site? No, I'm sure they'll eventually come here. Yeah, we just split our units, though, because apparently four mechs is enough to take on a whole squadron. Special forces, eh? What are they doing back here? They knew what we were trying to do. Huh, apparently Croy is more intelligent than we gave him credit for. Fine, we'll sell the score here. Lieutenant, enemies from behind! It's those mercenaries! You mercenary scum. I knew they'd come. Hey, Bozo! I mean, what are you planning? What do you intend to do with Midas? Japan is going to rot if things don't change. A new ideal state must be created before that happens. Oh, that type of conversation. Uh-huh. That's ridiculous. The Japanese will be fighting each other. That's madness! It's for the greater good. The greater good. All those in the way will die. Greater good? What good can come from sacrificing human lives? I don't know. I mean, a 20% well, uh, human life uh, loss is acceptable in most military endeavors, so you will never understand my ideals. We will settle it here. Prepare to die. All right. Now is the final fight against Croy? Yeah, let's find out. All right, let's bring out our 18 guns. And uh, you want to set your, uh, for this fight, you want to set it to piercing? Oh, for some reason it's accurate. Oh, that's right, because I, uh, I had to upgrade his, uh, change his arm out to try and get some uh, equipment to fit on Lee. That's right. <laughs> All right, anyway. All right, how do we do this? Uh, yeah, we'll do Emma. I always put Emma and Kazuki together. I don't know why, I just... Of course I have it, I guess. Alright, fighting from behind. There is some cover, although the rest of the fight's pretty much out in the open, so... Yeah, some cover opportunities, I guess. Uh, let's see, buildings and all that. Some height pr preferences for, like, uh, Dennis. Too bad Dennis doesn't have uh, similar abilities to, like, the sniper from XCOM, where you get more percentage to hit. Although he's, his percentage hits already pretty high already, so never mind. All right, let's look at the units we have to fight. Got some Shunyo Mark 11s from, oh, and he's like right up at the front, so we could just take him out immediately if we want to. Um, Shunyo Mark 11, I think this is one of the last fights to get this uh, machine if uh, if you want. Yeah, so if you want if you want a Shunyo, this is the last fight for this, to get one for your, anyway, uh, Kuroi's got anti-impact and Shunyo Mark 111 with a sniper rifle. And he's got Brace, which is that, you know, one where if you uh, you go last, but you defend against, like, 20% of the damage. And he's got Firing Squad. Oh, boy, we know how nasty that can be. Uh, if you want that Platinum Metal, make sure he doesn't get that off. So probably best way is to kill off his... I don't know, Croy? Eh, they're all the same. You could take out either one, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to be from these three, because I don't think there's any other mechs here, are there? No, it's all helicopters and stuff, so yeah, I've got to take out at least one of these dudes. Because I think you have to have two or more people to have that fire squad activated. But anyway, the other two are in Mark 11s, anti-impact, sniper rifle, um, evade. Null evades the bonus from, uh, like I said before, it, it, you see that upgrade a, a, AP upgrade level there. Basically, that ability negates that whole block right there 
of evade, so you don't get any bonuses to evade. So, um, the same thing, anti-impact, uh, evade and all. Okay, which makes sense for a sniper to have that, because you don't want people to be dodging out of the way. All right, we got some ocean ocean hans uh, with machine gun and missiles, anti-piercing, uh, no skills. I think we got like let's see, two. He's got anti-fire and anti-impact, so one of each. Yeah, no as far as I know, they don't have skills. I don't think they do. Nah. And two t a MK9 AFBs, anti-fire, machine gun, no skills, and anti-piercing, and MK9, and no skills. Okay, really the big threat is uh, Croy and his, and his cronies. So... This is why you want to have anti-piercing on everyone, by the way. I oh, can't really... Might as well go after... Who are the anti... Now I'm anti attack so basically... We ain't gonna be punching these guys in the mug now, are we? Alright, let's get some fist action going on here. Ow. Ooh, almost took out his arm already. Wow, all right. Um, she's really that good? No, no, someone's there. Well, at least he's got 93%, which means he has a... Um, he's most likely going to activate Zoom if it activates. You know? um, yeah, I guess we'll... I actually do what we have. Because I might have Lee shoot that guy just to take out his arm. Because so. I don't want to waste a... I don't want to waste one big attack on a on a sniper rifle. So. Ooh, nice. And zoom, nice, alright. Usually they combo, so we should be... I don't know if we'll completely wreck the guy, but we'll do a decent amount of damage. Haha, <laughs> I, love, I love when a... I love when a plan comes together. All right, shoot one of his arms, not just, you know, one or the other. Well, we got, oh, nice. Uh, we've only got five zooms and a topple shot, so. I don't think I've ever gotten, yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten to, uh, the five zooms and a topple shot to activate. Yeah, oh well, that's pretty good though. All right, let's, uh, let's try to see if we can knock off his arm. Are you kidding me? None of them shot his arm. Out of all the options, only one bullet had to hit his arm. That's it. Ugh, come on, game. Uh, all right. Oh, you are screwed. Salvo, nice. <laughs> oh, come on. I was about to say, one of them's got to hit you. Yeah, you're dead, son. Crazy overkill, but hey, um, do we? I was wanting to have multiple salvos, so at least two. Any more would be a little going crazy. Um, yeah, we'll remove bell skill on us. Oh, nope. Set, set. There we go. Fools, you never underestimate your mistake. Japan won't be safe now. Are you gone now? Is that it? Now we don't have to worry about firing a lot, at least. Whoa, right in the face, huh? All right, well I've got a shield. Yeah, Silva's pretty, pretty crazy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the fact that you have to basically waste to use a turn to get restore your missiles, but hey. I need to see if I can get Emma in the next backpack, the one with an eight, eight stack, so I can get four stacks of missiles. I have to, I'll have to readjust her parts to try and, um, um, Readjust our parts to see if I'm gonna lower the weight or something like that to get uh, um, the backpack on. I think I might be able to. Just they'll take a bit. Of, God, I'm getting screwed up by these uh, missiles, dude. God, they're all fighting the one guy without a shield. I mean, okay, if it was me, I would do the same thing. But still, I gotta take out those uh, those. Uh, um,
those uh, helicopters, because they're the ones screwing me up. Yeah, you've got anti-piercing, so... Eh. Maybe we should try to fight that one, because that one will be one we can easily kind of stack against. I ain't done that fire. Probably be able to get in them with Lee. Might be able to take him out. So what's his percentage to hit? Uh, I can't tell. Uh, 94. That's pretty good. That's bad. That, that should fit the mob. One less helicopter to deal with. These guys keep attacking Kazuki. And of course, he has anti impact. What's his percentage there? Yeah, it's not good either way. Really, point blank is really. Huh. Why is this percentage so low? Well? I guess just this evade's really high, I guess. Huh. Alright. Might as well go with that. Uh, if you're going to get a lot of damage, might as well go with the fist. Missed! Well, it is 70%, but still, that's a pretty good chance to hit. Alright. Now, well, I've got a shield, so this evade null thing doesn't really no point to it. You know. God, why is it crazy that percentage of the hitter so low? What the hell? Like I said, usually Kazuki's not that bad about hitting dudes. Now we'll defend. Or shield it up. Alright. Okay, good. Fighting something else for a change. Ah, sh shape didn't activate. Oh well. We have the shield. Now I assume it's gonna hit Kazuki. Oh, no. Alright. Thank you for not... There we go. Thank you for not hitting Kazuki in the turn. And we have a chance to defend against it. I mean, yeah, if I, like I said, if I was the AI, I'd, all, I'd attack Kazuki too. Because I'm like, oh, he did, he's the heaviest unit and doesn't have a shield? All right. Okay, let me see if I can... What's the chance to hit this guy? God. Kazuki just cannot hit the... Uh, cannot hit those guys for beans. Actually, none of... Did I turn off his uh, accuracy and not notice it? No, just... Huh, just his, his accuracy at full. I don't know why I'm just having really crappy chances to hit with my guy. Um, Shouldn't it with a... Probably not. Oh, he's going to anti piercing though. God! Oh, that's so dumb. I'm, oh, that, that really annoys me. Really, four damage. Yeah, this this game is trolling me. I swear. Yeesh. All right. And keep protecting yourself. What? Oh, come on! Why is why is this game like this to me? What did I do to it? And of course, wait, you're attacking me specifically? Wow, that's the. I think that's one of the first times I've seen the. Uh, <laughs> holy crap! This is. I think that's one of the few times I've seen the AI specifically target someone outside of their mech. Huh? Wow, this this sucks. You know, I thought we were doing pretty good too. Yeah, there you go. Activating a lot more than it used to. For a while, it didn't activate. 
for the longest time, or it hardly had to be. But. Get in the Mac. Ah. Jeez. Alright, let's, uh... Seems like I can keep blocking that. Might as well try to, uh... Um... We don't want to try and... It'd be better for the snipers, but I'm, I'm guaranteed hit from these guys, so I'd rather, uh... Take out the, uh... See if we can get Lee to... Finish that guy off if he gets right next to him. Oh, he's got anti-piercing, though. Can't get up there. Yeah, percent of this is really bad. So. All right. No rate of fire and lock for you, I guess. Well, Zoom's not always going to activate. It is a high combo, or not high combo, it's a medium combo uh, um, machine instead of a high activate. So. Well, not high, medium, sorry. And there goes the shield after this one. Alright, you're not going to, you're not going to freaking eject me again. Aw, oh, come on! Why'd you move closer to me? That doesn't make sense. Tactically, you doing that makes no sense. Uh, oh well. Anyway. <laughs> Salvo on the helicopter. Great. Okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> hey, I'd rather have it than not have to be, you know. She, she would have to take two turns to, to mess with them anyway, so why not? Did they actually block me in? They blocked me in. Huh. Interesting. There we go. Finally got his arm. I don't even worry about him anymore. Actually, it really where, doesn't matter where I'm at. That we, I was about to move around and hit him from a different angle, but I'm like, it really doesn't matter in this case. There we go. All right. I think this fight's going fine now. Might leave missiles off Emma if, uh, if it... Okay, you're out, so we don't know where about you. Yeah, we don't have shields, so might as well be with that. How was that? That. Ah, close. So close. Let's see, we just have a fist, so. Do we actually. No. Probably won't be able to. And there goes his arm. This guy. Oh, we got Fire Squad activate. Nice. I love it when I do that. I'll back you up. Ah, well, okay. Yeah, this should fit. Come on. Oh, nice. I love it when Fire Squad activate. It's so hard to do, but when it does, it's just. It's so sweet. Realistically, from a strategy point, there's probably no reason to use a. Um, activate a. Um, oh, there's re no reason to activate a, um, or give someone firing spot for how hard it is to do. Same with melee backup. That one's also so hard, to, it doesn't activate so often that it's almost not worth it, you know.
Sometimes if you surround the dude, you can sometimes get a... Uh, um, I'm gonna see if I can try to get a... Um, I'm gonna see if I can try to get him manually to surrender. See what happens. Nope. Sometimes if you just surround the unit, they'll just, uh, they'll, uh, give up. Nice. All right, we got another Shindio mech. Nice. Sell for parts or something like that. Or, uh, scrap for parts or something. All right, well, that could have gone better. <laughs> Getting ejected and all this other crap. Oh. Oh, well. We still got a Platinum. Alright. Yeah, we have like three Shinya Mark 11s now. <laughs> or four, I mean. So, yeah, we'll have a nice amount of money for the rest of the game. Looks like they've retreated. The mad SO units have retreated, but I'm sure they'll be back. We'll counterattack them before that happens. Alright. Did pretty good, yeah. I mean, Kazuki's is harder, but I don't know if you if you're prepared. I think it's uh, I think it's fine. Oh well, we finished that quicker. Um, before we finish the episode, give me let me double check the see if we got any mails in between. I don't think we did, but hey, never hurts the uh, never hurts the help. I mean, check. Yeah, I think we got most of the mail that you can uh, do at this point. Nope. Um, oh, we got something from Marcus, at least from his wife. So there you go. Why? <laughs> Why are you... Oh, that's his wife. Why are you so confident? You think you can live forever? Maybe you can. We went to the Caribbean for our honeymoon. Claudia and Amelia both want to play with you. How about my place? Huh. Maybe they'll be... Maybe they'll reconcile their differences after all this is over? Eh, maybe not. Usually a lot of stories that involved with people who got separated usually don't end up back together so I mean sometimes it does in, like in real life but usually if you go through all that pain and suffering through that issue then it's uh, um, then usually it's uh, not usually the the, the, the the pains are still there by that point that uh, that's hard to, to ignore it um, I don't want there's really nothing new from, from email that I haven't showed you guys already um, okay well, I guess that's it for now. So it looks like uh, the assault group by Ryogo is successful, as well as the one with Kazuki. So now it's time to counterattack and push it to the JDF. But do they have any more plans in store for us? What about the imaginary numbers in Lukov? Will we see them one more time, or at least another time, before things go down? Find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission 3. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.